serious as we go to the barn, right? All right, we're good. Let's get started. Let's walk up here. Follow us. <laughs> he was walking with you. No. You didn't even know. Okay. No, I didn't. Now, you see in these stalls here, they have some very big animals here. These are mules, not horses, be half horse, half donkey. This is Jane. So she's a female, obviously. Uh, Jenny, Jack. Red, Jack, Pearl. Pearl. Do you give this guy a name yet? Still not. No name, huh? Not a name. They got this. This is an American standard, bro. This is the most popular horse you see traveling down the road. That's an ex harness racer off the racetrack. And we use them because you can get to town in half the time with one of them. That's the idea. As far as the mules here, about 50% of the people use mules for work instead of horses. It's just a personal preference. These mules have more muscle per pound than a horse. They can work longer without water, so they're better in a hot day. On the other hand, the horse will definitely pull more weight hands down. Now, this place here is a bit older. This is built in 1860. The walls over there are stone. The rafters here are hand-cut logs. And uh, the cows will be milked right back this way, so come on here. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that these are Amish cows. They're Amish cows. That's right. If you look closely, you'll notice they dress in black and white. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, these are actually Holstein cows. They'll use these types because they produce more milk than any other cow. Generally about two and a half or three gallons each time you milk. A good cow is going to give about 80 pounds of milk a day. No milk twice. Now the barn might smell a little bit sour to you. What you smell is what the cows are eating. And I'll show you what that is. That schlapper. That schlapper. Now we're going to go through the barn and then come back a little bit of a different way, so follow me and stay close. This is organic. Organic? <laughs> this is the milk tank. This one holds about a thousand gallons of milk. It's refrigerated with propane gas. On the wall there, you can see the digital thermometer. It's at 36 degrees right now, so just above freezing. And uh, like I mentioned, no, no one hand milks their cows. If you do, your milk's automatically considered grade C. You can only use it for things like cheese or yogurt. So if you want the most money, you have to use milking machines. This one's partially set up. This here is pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. <laughs> Not terribly hard to figure out where this goes. A lady asked me the other week if she can take a picture of me holding these. I said, sure, where would you like me to hold them at? <laughs> she liked that. Now there's some black hoses hanging on the wall over there. That completes this. The top part is blue. That will plug into your power source, which I'll show you then. The other end goes on top of the can. So this is your compressed air, the smaller one. The larger one uh, is for the milk. So the milk goes from the cow to the can, to the carrier, through the tube, and then into the tank. And the milk on these farms will be contracted with large companies like Lando Lakes Butter, Hershey Chocolate, local companies like Turkey Hill. This one's Lando Lakes. So a truck comes every two days and picks the milk up, they'll take it to a processing plant, and the milk company deposits the money into your bank account. I don't know if she likes my photography. Yeah, I wondered about that. Sure, I'll get used to it. But uh, like I said, this mixture here, it smells sour because it ferments in the silo. It's alcohol. Only cows can eat this. If you feed this to your horses, they could be dead in 24 hours. They can't digest it. So, I see a baby's mom down. Big head? No, little. Oh. Yeah, 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 I see it. Right. <laughs> These are friendly cows here. Um, we didn't milk one cow for her stall. She bought her stall because she don't milk. Not that. Ever. The next one over. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> All right. So when the cows are in here, they have automatic watering cups. I'm going to show them how it works. Come on. Oh, no. Why? Push the button. I can't push the button. Why? I can push the second one. Yeah, push it in. You just push the button. That's how they get their water. <laughs> so they hit that with their nose. Yeah, they hit it with their nose. That's how they get water. The cows are usually turned out overnight for exercise and whatnot. But um, when it comes to milking your cows, they do it four at a time. And you go right down the line. And that hose, I said, you hook right here in the tube. As soon as you plug it in, the machines will turn on. Mm -hmm. so go right down the line. 
About how long does it take average to milk a cow one milking? Each cow will milk a little bit differently. Yeah. I'm going to say anywhere from four to ten minutes. Yeah. I mean, I've heard stories of cows take half an hour. <laughs> but usually five to ten minutes, I'll say. And you have to keep milking them in order for them to keep producing that milk, don't you? Precisely. Yeah. It's same as breastfeeding. you got to keep, yeah. uh, right. keep it up. Your mom oh. makes cookies? Like they're very good cookies. They do look Oh boy, here comes some more. Yeah, there's his brother and sister. <laughs>